thought about time that I showed you how I set up for my night operations off my ATV, so uh, stay tuned. I had Narara trailers and towbars build me a purpose-built trailer for the ATV. I provided the specs and details of what I wanted and they were very helpful, providing some suggestions based on my inquiry, actually things I hadn't thought of. It is well built, functional for towing the ATV and very easy to ride on, ride off, even unhooked from the car. I have left a link below and the website details at the end of the video if you're interested in getting in touch. Yeah, I'm down on a new property and um, I thought I might take this opportunity to give you a bit of a rundown on how I've got my ATV set up for hunting. Um, if you go to the YouTube channel and you check out uh, Edge of the Outback, Nathan's uh, video clip on how he's got his set up, highly recommended to have a look at that if you're setting up your own. Um, I've taken a few ideas from him and a few ideas for myself and what I have in my vehicle and I've applied it to the ATV. So. Um, I'll give you a bit of a rundown on uh, on the setup. So here we go. On the front of the vehicle, as opposed to others uh, that have got their work boxes, I've put a uh, light bar and my uh, shooting rack with obviously my dump pouches. And obviously I have the uh, spotlight, but I use the thermal, which is mounted on a frame, which I can op operate from the, uh, the front of the vehicle. Bit of a front on view, uh, there's the uh, the spotlight uh, handle, I uh, just used an old handle that I had and uh, on the front like I said you use the, the dump pouches. So all of that uh, area is my uh, my working area. Run the, the, the down here there's a frame which is set up for the uh, iPad and that Wi-Fi is up to the, uh, the handheld thermal and it obviously gives me the, the view instead of a spotlight, the thermal straight onto the screen. I run twin mounted Colpin uh, rifle racks and it was uh, a little bit tricky, but uh, as you've probably seen in Nathan's video, uh, he's got his linked off to the back. So the only way that I could fit the uh, racks together because of the width in here, it's uh, 80 wide. You can actually get a piece of aluminium which is six mil by um, 80 wide and it fits perfectly on the rack and it bolts straight onto the existing uh, holes that are in, in the frame. Perfect. Yeah, the unit came with a mandatory uh, rollover bar and what I've done is I've put my working bag at the back and my tripod, obviously, because when I leave the vehicle and I go on a foot mount, I take the tripod with me and shoot off the tripod. Storage, storage prices are premium, but you can get some great little packages. I've got uh, one on this side and one on the op opposite side, which is where I put all my ammo. It's all uh, first straight to it from the side as I'm in the vehicle. And uh, obviously, as I said, I bought the Tura. The Tura has got the extra seat pad, which is where I can put my backpacks and, and the like. Most of the new bikes now have got uh, day running lights. A bit of a problem when you're out at night time. So what I've done is I've covered up the, um, the light with a red contact that you use for books. Um, it gives a really good red glow. And um, I can use my night vision goggle uh, with a bit of glow out the front and it doesn't disturb the animals when I'm doing an approach. The other thing that happens is that this bar here, that's a white light. So when you turn your lights on, that actually gives you the light out the front if you need it. So a bit of a combination, but I'd really like to have a blackout switch on it. Mm -hmm.